it's Haley and I'm in my happy place on board the RV Atlantis on the bow and we are on day I think 14 of our cruise. We've done two Alvin dives already, two Sentry dives. Alvin's actually in the water right now with Valentina and Dorsey. Uh, but today I want to talk about one of the unsung heroes of the RV Atlantis and that is our shipboard multi-beam system. So the shipboard multi-beam system is what we use to collect bathymetric data and create our beautiful bathymetric maps that we're using to discover new volcanoes and to even plan our Alvin and Sentry dives. So I'm gonna take you around today and we're gonna to talk to some people and see why they think it's so critically important to map the seafloor. Hi Trish. Oh, hey Haley. Can I ask you some quick questions? Yeah, what's going on? How much of the seafloor has been mapped? At what scale? <laughs> Um, well, at the scale that we say know our city streets and our addresses and, you know, being able to walk around the neighborhood, maybe about 5% of the seafloor. Um, at the scale of like two, three kilometers, most of the seafloor. All right. So, but yeah, so a lot of it we have a general knowledge about, but maybe not a whole lot of detail. Yeah. I believe only 5% of I think it's only about 5% or so. Only 5% of the seafloor has been. At the level that we map it with the robots and very fine, it's not a percent. It's less than a percent. So why do you think it's important to map the yes. seafloor? Oh, it's very important to map the seafloor. Ships will run aground if you don't do that. The most obvious example that I always come to is that the, uh, the largest volcano on Earth was only discovered three years ago now. And it's at the bottom of the ocean. Uh, it's long dormant, it's not going to erupt anytime soon, but understanding our planet is fundamentally important. Understanding the size of the largest volcano on the planet seems obviously important to me. So the more we can do that, the better off we are. Well, you know, I mean, the seafloor uh, forms four-fifths of the Earth's surface, and it's something we, you know, you would like to know just from the exploration point of view, what four-fifths of the planet looks like. And right. uh, we spend a lot of time, we know a lot about the continents, but we still don't know a lot about the oceans. And, uh, and also there's the potential for hydrothermal activity that we don't know a lot about. So the oceans are a source of, of heat and materials, uh, that basically end up sustaining life. So it's important that we know as much about the sea flow as we possibly can. So it's kind of like, like that. <laughs> um, it sounds kind of like, chirp, chirp. <laughs> chirp. We're hearing aids, so uh, the chances of me hearing something like that are kind of slim. So we just talked about the sound the multi-beam makes. What it actually does is that it sends that sound in a pulse to the ocean bottom around us and sees how long it takes for it to bounce back and get a sense of how far the ocean bottom is, much like the way bats echolocate. So now we're going to show you the fruits of our labor comparing the two, me two kilometer resolution satellite data that we had before the cruise to a new map of a seamount with 75 meter resolution that we collected here on the Atlantis. Enjoy! Bad luck. Rad. Rad. Keep him away from it. 